Good morning and welcome to day number 18 of our 21 days of prayer, January challenge. 21 days of prayer with True North Church, day number 18. And today I want to continue with our uh, praying on, on how to be a sower. And uh, we're going to be praying today on how to wait and watch. How to wait and watch. And again, our scripture, I will continue using our scripture from yesterday. It's Mark chapter 4, verses 26 through 29. It says, This is what the kingdom of God is like, that a man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. And as soon as the grain is ripe, he puts a sickle to it, because the harvest has come. And yesterday we prayed about how to be a better sower, and today we want to pray about how to be patient, how to learn to wait and watch. And there's certain things that we need to do as sowers, and we see from this parable that we that we need to be patient. We have to need to be patient with what's going on because the seed does not bloom to harvest instantly. It doesn't just go from seed to to apple tree in an instant. And there's no on-off switch. You just can't turn it off and turn it on. That it takes time. It takes time for the seed to grow, to root, to uh, begin to 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 get strong and to bear fruit. And it's because it needs time to germinate. It needs time to grow, and it needs time to mature through its natural, organic progression. And that's what we want. That's how you know that somebody is good ground. That you begin to see that. Their, this natural progression of them getting stronger, them understanding more about the word, understanding more about the seed. And so our job is not to rush it. That is, the sowers, our job is not to rush it. Our job is to watch for different signs, different things of the journey that our, that our, our loved ones, our, our friends, our neighbors, our, our co-workers, that are going through in their faith towards Christ and help them along that with the next phase of growth. And the way that we do that is by continuing to not just scatter seed, because you've already scattered seed, but you want to water that. You want to water that seed. You want to continue to to minister to them the words of Christ, the words of God, because that is living water. And that is the best thing that it that, that can help somebody that is coming along in the in the maturity and in, in, in their relationship with Christ. So we, we, we have to pray. We, we have to pray about how do we show them and teach them and, and help them with the grace that's found in Christ. How do we continue to uh, minister the love of God and tell them about the love of Jesus, that it's a transforming love and that it's a love that knows no limits and it's not bound by anything, and then continue to minister to them the excitement and the joy of following Jesus with our whole heart, our whole mind, and all of our strength. This is how we water that seed. This is how we water that ground that's received the seed and help them to grow in the image of God. Let's pray this morning about how we can be better at being patient with the seed, how we can be better watering that seed. Let's pray. Father, we love you and praise you, and we do thank you for your word that is the truth. Oh, Father God, without your word, we're lost. Without your word, we're clueless. And so, Father God, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord, that you don't eat, you 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 tell us how to sow, Father God, and you also tell us how to be patient and how to take care of that seed that has been sown into the ground. How do we take care of those people that we've ministered your love to and ministered seed to, Father God, and that that we are that we're that we are good at, at showing them and, and teaching them and, and helping them with the grace that is found in you that we're good, Father God, at helping them uh, understand the transforming love, the transforming love of Jesus Christ. And Father God, that we're we're so good at, at showing the joy that we have found in following Jesus with our whole heart, our whole mind, and all of our strength. That Father God, by doing these things, by you helping us do these things, that Father God, that we're able to, to help our friends, our loved ones, our co-workers. Father God, help them to grow more and more in the knowledge of you in that seed that we've planted to mature in their lives. We thank you for it and praise you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.